Every planet looks calm from space, until you try to land on it. Mercury. Mercury doesn't give you minutes, it gives you seconds. 430 degrees Celsius daytime heat cooks you. Minus 180 degrees Celsius night freezes you solid. And unfiltered solar radiation starts killing your cells within seconds. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, but that doesn't mean it's hot all the time. During the day, surface temperatures reach 430 degrees Celsius. At night, they drop to minus 180 degrees Celsius. This extreme swing happens because Mercury has no real atmosphere. It only has a thin exosphere, which cannot trap heat or distribute it. There's also no weather system to move heat around. Each side of the planet heats up or cools down independently. The real danger is solar radiation. Mercury receives almost seven times more solar radiation than Earth, which makes direct exposure extremely dangerous. The surface is covered in craters, cliffs, and uneven terrain. There's almost no air resistance, so a spacecraft cannot slow down naturally during descent. That increases the risk of a high-speed impact. Landing during the day is impossible. NASA spacesuits are rated to 121 degrees Celsius, far below Mercury's daytime temperatures. Nighttime isn't safer. Temperatures of minus 180 degrees Celsius exceed NASA suit limits of minus 157 degrees Celsius. You would freeze. <laughs> Mercury also rotates very slowly. One full day on Mercury lasts about half a year on Earth. Your best option would be the Terminator Zone, the narrow region between day and night. This area is safer because it avoids direct solar heating and extended exposure to deep cold. However, Mercury has no atmosphere to stabilize temperatures. So even in the Terminator Zone, conditions can change quickly survival would still be extremely unlikely. Venus. On Venus, you do not die fast. You are crushed, cooked, and poisoned at the same time. Venus is Earth's closest planetary neighbor, just 40 million kilometers away. The journey there would take around four months. Its size and gravity are similar to Earth's, so landing forces wouldn't be the main problem. The real danger starts in the beautiful yellow clouds. As you descend, you're greeted by thick yellow clouds. These clouds are made of sulfuric acid. Unprotected exposure would destroy your lungs and skin in seconds. But let's assume you're wearing an advanced spacesuit, capable of filtering acid. You continue descending. Visibility drops rapidly. The atmosphere becomes extremely dense, made almost entirely of carbon dioxide. This thickness traps heat through a runaway greenhouse effect. By the time you reach the surface, temperatures hit 450 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. And here's the strange part. Despite the extreme heat, the surface is dim. Only about 10% of sunlight makes it through the atmosphere. So you're standing in near darkness on a planet hot enough to destroy metal. Movement becomes a struggle. Even though Venus's gravity is close to Earth's, the air is so dense it feels like moving through liquid. Every step takes effort. Now pressure takes over. At the surface, atmospheric pressure is 92 times higher than Earth's. That's equivalent to being almost a kilometer underwater. It will crush your suit. If you somehow survive this, with a broken suit, the atmosphere finishes the job instantly. Mars. On Mars, you wouldn't die instantly. You'd last just long enough to realize the planet is killing you slowly. Mars is the second closest planet to Earth and the most habitable of all eight planets. From orbit, it looks manageable. Daytime temperatures can reach 20 degrees Celsius, which sounds almost comfortable. But Mars can't hold on to that heat. Its atmosphere is extremely thin, so when the sun sets, the warmth disappears. At night, temperatures fall to minus 130 degrees Celsius. Cold isn't the only problem. Mars's atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, with only trace amounts of oxygen. That means even with a spacesuit, pressure becomes dangerous. Unprotected exposure wouldn't just suffocate you, it would cause bodily fluids to boil. And while you're dealing with that, Mars exposes you to something else, radiation. Because the atmosphere is so thin, Mars offers almost no radiation shielding. Radiation levels are 40 to 50 times higher than Earth's, damaging DNA continuously. Then come the storms. Mars experiences massive dust storms that can grow large enough to cover the entire planet. Winds reach 100 kilometers per hour, blocking sunlight and shutting down solar power. 
Unlike Venus, Mars doesn't overwhelm you. It slowly removes heat, air, and protection until survival systems fail. Jupiter. On Jupiter, you don't land. You fall, accelerate, and are destroyed long before reaching anything solid. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and it has no solid surface. Before you even reach the clouds, radiation becomes lethal. Jupiter's radiation belts are so intense that at around 300,000 kilometers away, radiation levels can exceed 1,000 times Earth's lethal dose, enough to damage spacecraft electronics within hours and kill an unprotected human in minutes. Assume you somehow survive that with your hypothetical suit that can block the radiation. Gravity is 2.4 times stronger than Earth's, so your descent speed increases rapidly. The upper atmosphere is filled with frozen ammonia clouds at temperatures around minus 150 degrees Celsius. Winds reach 480 plus kilometers per hour, making stability impossible. After falling roughly 150 kilometers, you reach the deepest region ever explored on Jupiter. This is where the Galileo probe stopped transmitting in 1995, crushed by pressure and heat. Everything below this point is inferred, not observed. As you fall deeper, pressure rises violently. Gas compresses into a supercritical fluid, neither liquid nor gas. Below that lies metallic hydrogen, dense enough to trap anything permanently. Near the core, Temperatures reach 24,000 degrees Celsius, hotter than the sun's surface. Saturn. On Saturn, the most unsettling part isn't how you die. It's that you never know how far you have left to fall. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system, made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Before you even reach the atmosphere, getting there is already dangerous. Saturn has 146 known moons and the vast ring system made of ice, rock, and debris. One wrong approach, and you never reach the planet. Assume you make it through. As you approach the planet, you see something unexpected. Massive red and purple auroras glow around Saturn's poles. They look calm, almost beautiful. As you descend, the atmosphere turns violent. Wind speeds reach up to 1,800 kilometers per hour, fast enough to tear spacecraft apart. At the North Pole, a strange geometric storm spins endlessly. The hexagon is large enough to fit two Earths inside it, and no one fully knows why it exists. The upper clouds are brutally cold, with temperatures dropping to minus 250 degrees Celsius. Fall deeper, and the rules change. Temperature rises, but pressure increases even faster. Hydrogen gas compresses until it behaves like a liquid. There is no solid surface waiting below. Keep falling long enough, and you reach Saturn's core a molten rocky mass about 10 times Earth's size. Temperatures reach 11,700 degrees Celsius, with pressure 1,000 times greater than Earth's. Uranus. Uranus is where the planets start getting really far from Earth, making the journey take over nine years with current spacecraft. It is one of the two ice giants, and the only planet in the solar system that rotates on its side, tilted by 98 degrees. Despite its distance, Uranus spins fast, one full day lasts just 17 Earth hours. Being an ice giant doesn't mean Uranus is frozen solid. It means the planet is made mostly of water, ammonia, and methane, compressed under pressure. As you descend into the atmosphere, temperatures drop rapidly. They reach minus 220 degrees Celsius, making Uranus the coldest planet ever measured. Assume you're wearing a reinforced spacesuit. Even then, survival is short. Ice pellets slam into you at high speed, driven by winds reaching up to 900 kilometers per hour. Go deeper, and pressure starts doing something strange. Methane molecules break apart under compression, causing carbon to crystallize. This creates diamond rain, falling continuously through the atmosphere. But curiosity ends there. Pressure here reaches around 100 times Earth's, enough to crush any human-rated structure. Neptune. Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun, about 30 times farther than Earth. Very little sunlight reaches it, so the outer layers are extremely cold. But cold isn't what kills you first. Neptune has the fastest winds in the solar system. Wind speeds exceed 2,000 kilometers per hour, reaching supersonic levels, making control impossible. As you descend, pressure rises rapidly. Inside, pressure generates intense heat. Neptune's core reaches around 7,000 degrees Celsius, 
hotter than the sun's surface. Like Uranus, Neptune experiences diamond rain, formed as pressure breaks down methane. On Neptune, survival ends the same way every time. Death is unavoidable. Pluto. Pluto isn't classified as a planet anymore, but that doesn't make it any less hostile. It sits far beyond Neptune where sunlight is extremely weak and surface temperatures drop to around minus 230 degrees Celsius. Whew. With almost no atmosphere, you would freeze and suffocate in near vacuum. Earth. Earth is the only planet where you don't die by default. Air, pressure, temperature, and radiation protection are perfectly balanced. Death comes from age, disease, or mistakes, not the planet itself. Hope you guys are liking the videos. Subscribe, leave a like, and watch the next video in the playlist.